Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Thrifty Thursday, which is an open collaboration hosted by my good friend Sherry of Turquoise Dreaming, whose channel will be linked below. Do you see this lovely pile of books? This is what I'm going to be sharing with you today, as well as some other things I've picked up. So let's get right into it. Okay, these books are by Joan Walsh, England. I always love to pick up books by her. Her illustrations are just so adorable. And these two um, I never had before, so I was excited to find them. Okay, this one is Spring is a New Beginning. Look at the gorgeous dust jacket. And the book itself, the book cover is so adorable. Um, so let's look inside. And it's in perfect condition too, this one. Actually, both of these books. Isn't that sweet? Some pencil drawings and some colored in. But they are all adorable. I love how she draws her little children and things like that. So, And then the, the text is just really like short poems and things like that. So that is this book. Look how cute. Oh, my goodness. All right. So. Um, along the same lines, this one is a friend is someone who likes you. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Again, the dust jacket is in great condition. And look at the cover. Oh, my goodness. It's so sweet. I love, you know, when the covers have uh, designs on them like that. So, yeah, there you go. Along the same line, beautiful little drawings, mainly of children and you know some are colored in and some of them oh my goodness that's so cute and some of them are just pencil draw. actually this one looks like it has mostly colored in drawings but very very cute love that book all right then i picked up i, I don't know why i couldn't resist this is uh the knights of the round table in french um but i mean i do speak a little french but i'd i'd have to practice uh use the dictionary anyway oh i do think there were some illustrations in here yeah so these are actually cardstock uh book plates and um they are blank on the back so you could technically if you wanted to take the images out to use um you could do that and still keep the text of the book intact so that's kind of cool aren't those neat they would make a great like renaissance journal medieval type journal but um yeah it's very cool very cool oh look there are some drawings too within the text itself it looks like at least i found that one so there you go that is this one and oh look at that <laughs> okay so i'm looking to see if there's any more book plates yep there's one right there looks like there's a little smit on the text on the other side but yeah. Okay. Anyway, I just couldn't resist getting that book. Um, the Knights of the Round Table in French. Okay. Then my second health book. It has a little, you know, dirt and stuff on the cover. But oh my goodness, inside it is just so cool. It was from a school library or, you know, um, a school... Uh, yeah, from a school. <laughs> but look at these images. They are so adorable. I love it. It's like one of those um, Dick and Jane type book, you know, images. And it is, yeah, it is older. But look at these beautiful images. That uh, full page image is beautiful. Looks like there's a few full page images like that. Some drawings. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now that I'm looking at this again to do the voiceover for this video, I'm like, I wish I hadn't sold it now, but that's okay. This is what I got them for. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is an adorable book. Look at the teacher. Oh my goodness. Too cute. Yeah, I can never resist picking up books like this either. And, you know, in this time, uh, yeah, that, that one did sell. Okay, then this is the Happy Hollisters. Again, I love it when they have the covers like that. And look at the end papers. So pretty. So this one inside, it has like uh, red line drawings like this. 
um but pretty cool it is a cool old book but mainly like a good reading book but man look at those inside papers just love that and i apologize if you hear my dog in the background he lost this toy somewhere what are you looking for bolt okay sorry about that all right then there is science all about us again this is was an old school book look at the bunnies and um, a little writing up there. But other than that, these are in actually great condition. And let's see. Yep, right off the bat, the table of contents has some great illustrations. What, Bolt? I'm trying to do a voiceover. Okay. And oh, look at all the pictures. Lots of pictures of kids and animals and seasons and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, definitely, definitely beautiful, beautiful book. Love it. And, oh my goodness, so many cool images. You know what? I couldn't get myself to cut this book up anyway. It's in such good shape. I'm glad somebody can use it me and Caleb another reader um no oh, actually this is like, like a small novel it does have this tape around it um it came like that but that's a really cool illustration on the cover and I apologize if you're hearing my notifications going off I tried to turn it off but then I couldn't use this <laughs> voiceover thing so yeah, just a cute book here, me and Caleb. I'm just going to flip through it a little bit, but I think it's mostly just writing. Oh, and it was from a library, so it has this as well. And oh, it does have some illustrations, but mostly just like drawings. I don't think there were any color illustrations in here. Let's see. Cool drawings though, me and Caleb. And I'm just showing a little bit of the wear on the spine and all that. But you know what? Considering these books are pretty old, um, that's not a big deal. Then we have Down Our Way. This one, I think, is a reader. But it's got a pretty cool cover. A stamp from a school there. Yeah. And look how cute. Again, those amazing, very colorful, very vibrant illustrations. And um, let's see, I'm looking for the copyright probably, but I can't see it from here. <laughs> um, so it does have some damage on some of the pages, but even with that, it's just, I would co still consider this one in great condition. Don't you just love those images? Oh my goodness, there's circus, animals, kids love it love it love it okay so i think what i'm going to do for the rest of the video is i'm going to go ahead and just turn on some music and let you look through um the rest of the books um i'll come back here when it um when I'm done with the books, I do have some other little things to show you. Oh, this one is amazing. This older one. I think this one I kept for myself because it is like really old. And I hope to someday make uh, digital kits. Let me see if it's got the copyright in here. Uh, copyright. I can't make it out. <laughs> um, all right. Anyway boys and girls bookshelf look how cute the illustrations yeah all right like i said i'm gonna go ahead and turn on some music and um <laughs> go find my dog's toy <laughs>
Okay, so this is the last book and it has a little name up at the top, but other than that, it is in beautiful condition and um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous images by Richard Scarry or Scary. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, but yeah, very, very beautiful book. I'm so glad I got to hold it for a little while it did sell actually but um yeah i'm glad to show it to you now okay so now i'm going to go ahead and show um as i'm finishing up this the next thing you will see is some stuff i picked up at the dollar tree still thought it was a good deal even at a dollar 25 look at these these little felt and fabric gingham bunnies they're actually sewn all around you know how long it would take me to do that um cutting them out and there looks like there's a little if there's not a a batting in between actually i can open it now that it, i have it at home yeah it feels like there's even batting in between because this is felt the felt is very thin then this fabric is very thin and it feels like there's a little tiny bit of batting in between and then a little bow and it's just glued on the bow is but how adorable are these you get one two three four three, four, five, six of them for $1.25. That's like less than a quarter each, right? Four, yeah. So, and so I got the purple and the blue and the pink. I think that was all that they had. I couldn't resist. I mean, you can stick them on tags. You can make them stand up with a little block behind them. That's what I might do. You can make a garland. Oh my goodness. And you've probably seen these on other channels too, or maybe you've come across them. Um, I picked up the carrots and the bunnies originally. That's all I got Because I mean come on you can't resist those little bunnies on a garland there a whole yard of them and the carrots I had originally left this one behind but I went ahead and picked it up And I think there's one other one that somebody else I saw on somebody else's channel that I did not see in my But then on top of that you also get Rick Rack and you know those that pom-pom trim So I think that's a decent deal um, also, also from Dollar Tree, I picked up these little wooden bunnies. Again, I think I'm, I'm just going to put like a little block of wood behind them and, uh, or in the front, right? You, the behind is what you're actually seeing, but, um, to make them stand up and kind of put them around my house that way, just super simple. And then I got these little things. Um, I got three of them. I opened one up and put, and put it together. And the reason I got this is because I'm going to be having a jewelry show, um, selling my handmade jewelry. And um, this I got, I already opened the bag and kind of sold most of it, but I, I saved this toggle clasp from that bag. Sorry, I didn't show you that. Let me know if you guys are interested in jewelry. I haven't really been sharing with you any jewelry or beads um, because um, I don't know. I didn't think there was any interest, but if I'm wrong about that, let me know. But anyway, um, I figure I can put some earrings on cards and then this has a little clip and which you can hold it like that. So I can have my little earrings on a card clipped from this, um, you know, little thing and I can display like two of them at a time, you know. So let's see, I have something else over here. Just grabbing something from the side of my <laughs> table <laughs> like that, you know. So that's, that was my idea. Then at the Goodwill, I picked up a bunch of stuff. Let me just show you the crafty things. And I'm missing one, missing one bag. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I got this little box because first of all, the box is super cute. It was $3.50, but check it out. Brand new playing cards. It feels sticky like something spilled on it. So I'm glad that the cards are still sealed because they, they were not damaged. The box, I, I think I'm going to take some goo gone and clean it out real good uh, because it's in great shape too. I could use the box for anything else. It also came with this random die that I'm just going to put in my stash of, you know, little game pieces. And this picture, which I guess I'll leave it. I'm it's probably going to be more trouble to try to take it out. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to add this to my playing card collection to, um, you know, do bundles and stuff. But I really love the Joker image. <laughs> Made in Taiwan. So there you go. Got that. Then, what else did I get crafty? Yes. I got bags of ribbon. 
And $3.49 for these ribbons. There's about a dozen here. So that I paid less than $0.35 cents per spool. And most of the spools seem to be full. And the ones I don't use, I can always de-sash. But there's some here that I'll definitely use. Like, I love that lace. Is that lace? And then the sheer ribbon like this, or even the satin ribbon, I've been using for uh, wrapping packages. Um, my packages that I sell on whatnot, um, I wrap them in um, either tissue or even a, a pretty fabric if I have, you know, some random pieces, and I wrap it in ribbon. So I got that. Uh, for $2.50, I also got this bag. This had orange and green ribbon only but it has like three four five spools of that and then um i was really curious about using again I'm, I'm making jewelry now to sell also and i thought maybe i could do some hair combs i saw this other lady on uh whatnot that that decorates combs and sells them and um this this type of hair combs and i thought well you know i could try it it looks like something else was on these there's some residue of glue um a glue gun residue left or hot glue residue i guess but um yeah i'll wash these really nice i think i think i can boil them it's i don't know if it'll mess up the wire but um just in case and then i'll try to decorate them so there's that and then couldn't resist this is a, actually you know what i haven't even tested it um it didn't have a price i asked the lady to give me a price and that's the price she gave it and i thought it was very fair because i do love my punches especially anything that looks like a doily and i don't have that many like that so let me grab a piece of paper right now and test this um i just have some random papers next to me so maybe I will grab one of those well, I guess they're not so random if I don't want to just grab any here we go okay let's do this because this is just uh, paper okay so regular paper and let's see how my dolly comes out oh don't tell me it's not going to work I might have to stand up Oh, it worked perfectly. Look at that. I mean, that's just, the, there were lines through the paper, but I love it. So it's actually softer than I thought. I was trying to, to press it harder than it needed to. Yeah, so this I'm definitely going to use. Look how nice those little tiny doilies are going to come so handy for little embellishments on paper clips, on anything stick a button in the middle or anything in the middle and it's just such a cute embellishment so i'm gonna be playing with this one <laughs> i love it so yeah definitely worth the price that i paid for it i'm gonna get my money's worth on that one then i got this bag i'm so crazy i i could i had I'll tell you what i really don't have very much need for these little roses um but I know I can probably sell them for, you know, I don't know, a couple of dollars for the bundle. But I paid, how much did I paid for this? Uh, okay, $4.49. So I'm going to try to get my money back on the roses. But also, there was a couple spools of ribbon, and I saw that it said it was 25 yards. I mean, even if it's not the complete 25 yards, which it probably is not, it definitely doesn't look like it is. Um, there's a lot more of the purple than the white. I can still use it. And like I said, I've been using a lot of ribbon for wrapping packages and stuff. So, um, you know, that added to my uh, wanting to get this. But when I saw the box, it said Erin Condren. And that's actually uh, like a really nice planner brand. Uh, if you're familiar, I don't know. Um, but it's, uh, Erin Condren makes planners. So I thought this might be a planner. Look at the gorgeous box. First of all, I couldn't, you know, get in there to open it, but I took a chance on what might be in this box. I thought it would be nice quality because of the brand. And I already love the box in itself, but check out what's inside. It's a little bundle of greeting cards and it looks like they're all there. There's 16 of them. I already counted them. I couldn't resist. The moment I, you know, I could, I 
went ahead and opened this. And then it's got all the envelopes. I haven't counted the envelopes. I counted the cards. There's 16. That makes sense for a bunch of cards. But see, happy birthday. There's a bunch of birthday cards. And there's also just hello cards. Blank inside. There's some thank yous, which is great because I'll use those. Woohoo, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting them all messed up here. But this I'll probably just keep for myself for um, using for my thank you cards and things like that. And um, the birthdays, I really don't send a lot of birthday cards. But if um, I want to get better about that, I have some in here that are actually really nice quality ones that I can send out. So there is that. Which reminds me, um, let me know when is your birthday. I feel like I should know this, like you've told me this already. But um, I'm, I need to write it down because I'd like to, hey, send your birthday card. <laughs> uh, preferably something that I make, right? But if not, I mean, those are pretty, right? <laughs> it's either something I made or something I thrifted. I mean, that's kind of like the story of my life. Okay. So let's see. More crafty stuff. Oh, yeah, here it is. I hadn't opened this bag yet. So I did a stupid thing. I had one of these uh, Martha Stewart um, paper cutters that had, um, um, what do you call it, board on it, a uh, scoring board. And I was having a hard time replacing the blade on it, so I donated it. I got rid of it. I said, ah, it's taking too much room. And then I realized, oh, that was a nice folding one and everything. I've been needing or been in occasions where I've been wanting to use a scoring board and I didn't have one. So I found this one. It doesn't have um, its bone folder, but that's not a big deal. I have a bone folder. But look at this. It tells you. I just noticed this. I didn't see this before. It tells you the sizes of boxes and cards that you can, um, you know, to score where to score them and then it has this attachment to make envelopes um, and I'll have to figure out how it works I'll probably watch somebody else's YouTube video about it and um, yeah so it's a scoring board it does not do any cutting it's just for scoring and um, it was $5.49 but I looked it up and these things sell for like 40 bucks like that's the price I was seeing them like on eBay and everywhere so I said, okay, this is a good deal. I am keeping this. I probably should keep it right here next to my desk because it's something I will likely use a lot. So I'm going to find a place for it here. Then, oh, yes, I forgot about this. I get to see this and show this to you. Okay, so this video is going to be long. All right, well, I'll show you that last. Okay, I got this bag. I spent too much for it, really. Um... $3.49 I would not spend for a deck of cards, but <sighs> I, I splurged on it. Um, it does have three deck of cards. These are no big deal. Somebody had put 50 cents on them previously. Oh, but they're unopened, and I can probably sell these on whatnot um, unopened, and I think they are a little bit vintage. It says Maverick Jumbo, so yeah, I might get a buck for those, but check this one out. It's a Ringling Brothers Circus playing cards. And they're also sealed in the package. Uh, Western Publishing Company, Men in USA. There's no year, but I looked them up. And they sell for about $10 for the deck. So with that, I justified, you know, paying the $350. Because I'm going to also open this and split it up in bundles. Um, it also came with this random embellishment or decoration bed bath and beyond enjoy the little things good reminder i might clean it up and uh, just keep it there and a mirror which oh look there's my phone it's the one oh yeah it's got the magnification on one side and regular on the other side i can use this actually um i have one in my bathroom but i think i i'd like to keep one in here in the craft room and that's like the perfect size so for that, for all that, I think it was worth the three fifty. So I'm just gonna throw this out and keep the cards there. Then, for ninety nine cents, I picked up this this bag of little random pegs. I don't know. I just couldn't leave them behind. I thought I'm gonna find a use for those little pegs. And let's see what else is in here. I hadn't opened it yet. Where are my scissors? 
I just dropped my phone charger? Oh, you know what? I should be charging my phone. Uh, let's see how it's getting low, I think. So let me plug it in here. Okay. I'm going to have to lift this up here. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Famous little game. Oh, so it's got instructions. I don't know if it's all in here. Great American Trading Company. So I'll read this. Maybe it's actually a game I can play if everything is here. Snap all the wings into the cup. Oh, Tiddly Wings. Okay, this is for these. For these little chips. I think these are the Tiddly Wings. I think these go in this little bag. And then is this more of these other pegs? I don't know what these pegs are for. But uh, my mind was kind of seeing lots of different possibilities for them. They could be little pegs inside a, a piece of board to, to hang stuff on. Um, I don't know. They can be turned into little people. Or maybe if I can't think of something to do with them, I might be able to, you know, sell them to somebody who needs them. <laughs> I mean, it was only 99 cents. So, <sighs> my craziness just had to get them. And it does have a couple of cute little muslin bags as well, which I like. So, there you go. My craziness. If you need little pegs for something, let me know, and I'll send you some. <laughs> All right. Then, this is the thing that I'm excited about because I did not get to see all that is in here. Looks like some vintage gift wrap. It may not all be vintage. I did pay $2.49 for it, and I'm sorry that I'm crowded over here, but uh, let's see. Move around a little bit. Okay. I think you, you can still see everything. I'm just going to cut this because I'm so excited to open it with you. Okay. Oh my goodness, there's a lot in here. That's why I thought $2.49 I think is fair. Even if it's just pieces because you know, I have the, my, my one uh, gift wrap uh, little, uh, it's not really a journal like gift, the, my gift wrap collection notebook um, that I put little pieces of gift wrap in. So um this would definitely go in there, or pieces of this would go in there. I'm just moving stuff around. I'm sorry. And if this goes on the YouTube later, I'll have to cut all this out. All right. Let's see. So exciting. So this was $2.49 for all this paper you see here. I think it was pretty good. It looked like it had been bagged a couple of times. Let me remove the other bag. All right. Let's see what we got. Definitely vintage, right? That's what, 70s vibes, you think? This is pretty newer, but it's pretty, and I can use it as gift wrap. I have been actually wrapping uh, some of my packages in gift wrap. Like, if I recycle an old box, I don't like people to get an old box in the mail, so I'll actually gift wrap it on the outside. How sweet are these little cupcakes? More of this, awesome. i keep that together. Oh my goodness, how sweet! It has a piece of the fa uh, plastic. This is Happy Birthday Little Critters. And it's not a full sheet of it. Oh, maybe one sheet. So that is definitely vintage. It's very sweet. Um, Express from Hallmark. Let's see. This is just a little tiny piece of this Party Till the Cows Come Home. <laughs> Too bad that there's not even one full section, but that's all right. This one's still in the package. It was $0.68 cents and these little bears. 150 and then 68 and there's no year that I can tell but they're very sweet bears this one's opened it is a nursery one and sometimes they have like the year or, or something on the edge kind of like fabric does yeah look at this so let's see what it says it says 1994 Gibson I don't know if you can see it I'm covering it probably but yeah and there's two sheets of it in here so that's cool Look at these little guys. Okay. The little babies with their animal pajamas. How sweet. Let me see. This feels like the other one, but let me see if I find the branding on it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this package. I don't see it on that edge. Let's see. On this edge. Oh, yep. Let's see. It has it right here. I'm reading sideways. It is 1990, 1993 Gibson. So 90s. That's sweet. Here's another one. It was on clearance for 25 cents at one point. 
and it is um, art fair gift wrap. Also a baby one, but it's sweet. Here's another baby one. Looks like most of them are baby one. I hope they're not all baby, although it's not a terrible thing. Uh, Gibson, 19. Does it have a year on here? It doesn't have the year on here, but um, and I don't want to open it just to find out. But it's probably from the 90s, like the others. Here's another pretty one. Oh, I really love this one. Definitely pieces of this could go in a junk journal. And it's nice, sturdy paper. And this is one of the ones from the Wildlife Federation. I've seen a lot of these, and I've used um, a lot of those Wildlife Federation ones. This looks like another one of those. Um, Wildlife Federation. And it's kind of got all kinds of uh, camping or park images. Um, yeah, the Wildlife Federation. So those are sweet. I like those. Some more babies. How sweet are they? Sweet, sweet babies. Another baby one. These are bibs. How adorable. Oh, look at this. Oh my, I have two of them. Hallmark cards. Oh, this is definitely vintage. 70s, I want to say. Maybe 80s, but you know what? I have two of them. Is one of them open? Is there more? I want to open one. I'll leave one unopened that I can sell or something. Make sure they're both. Oh, this one's open. Yay, I'm glad I didn't open it. Okay, this one's open. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I love the butterflies, of course. That's what's getting me excited. I want to see if this has a branding uh, mark on it as well. Somewhere. I am not seeing it. But... Yeah, it is very sweet. I love it. I love, love, love it. It was 35 cents, so you know it's got to be old. You can't get gift wrap for 35 cents anymore. <laughs> for two sheets. And then this, and then it looks like this pack is unopened. So that's amazing. Some like uh, masculine paper. Oh, great. There's a little piece chopped off of this one. I can cut off a piece you know that's a great background for a journal even like a nature or neutral journal um or for masculine wow plain white matte finish gift wrap plain white you know that can come in handy very interesting and here's a red polka dot um all location uh gift wrap three for a dollar at one time and I have got a couple of them. Love polka dots. So, yes. And then polka hearts. <laughs> polka hearts, get it. Uh, very cute. So, yeah, hearts all around. Yay, I like them. And are there three? No, there's two packages of that. I love this one, too. Almost like kind of psychedelic, right? Let's see. Art gift wrap. CPS Corporation. How pretty. I want to say 70s on this one also. But I don't know. It's sealed. Another gorgeous one. I think I totally scored on this pack for sure. Turtle Press. Love, love this one. It almost kind of has the feel of like wallpaper, right? Love it. Some seashells. Love it. Being from Florida, I can always appreciate some good seashell art. I'm looking for branding, but there is none. It's probably from around that time. <gasps> Look at these flowers with a gold background. That is pretty cool. It was 175, so maybe it's what 80s, 90s? I don't know, but it's really cool and still in the package. Definitely 90s, right? Or were the geese 80s? I don't remember. Now two for a dollar. How about that? Yep. And then this kind of goes along with that. The little tulips there. This one is opened. No, it's not. It just has these little cuts on the bag. Interesting. And we're almost to the end. Look at this one. This one's a, you know, not my favorite because of the colors, but it's it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's definitely usable. And last but not least, it is. Let's see how it's going to make me open it. Let's open it pink <gasps> wedding uh shower yeah wedding see the the bells and the 
um, parasols and the doves. Very, very pretty. It says Hallmark Cards, Inc. Made in USA on the side. But I don't see a year. Oh, let me see. Maybe here. No, just Hallmark Cards, Inc. So very pretty gift wrap there also. So yeah, that's a bunch. Her 250 definitely scored. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't think I'm going to cut the white ones. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So less than 10 cents each sheet or some of them packages, you know. So I think that was definitely a nice, nice uh, score there. And I was getting a little bit low on my gift wrap, so this totally makes me happy. <laughs> okay, this trim. I paid only a dollar for what was less, left of this trim. So I'm not sure if I'll offer this like in yardage or how, but I think it's really cute. It's like a, you know, it's like a felt or a faux leather, but... It's really cute. I mean, you could put line pockets with this, line your jeans with it. <laughs> but in journals, it could definitely be, you know, an embellishment. So there's that. Then I think this bag of doilies was a dollar. Oh, what a little treasure. I think that's all I paid for it. And uh, you got, I mean, all this work that somebody did, my goodness. So this is the largest one. It's probably like a four by four how sweet and then this one and then these little tiny ones one two three four five and six look at this one i think this is my favorite so six little tiny doilies well small doilies for a dollar i think that was definitely a nice deal and i'm gonna have a hard time using those up but whatever <laughs> all right then there was also this uh what was this how much was this one it was like 50 cents i think it's just some stickers but i really like the little tea tea theme on there um you know brand new and then this stencil kaiser craft stencil it's got the nativity scene down here and the santa and the gifts and this is a really nice quality stencil. And I've been wanting to do like a little nativity scene on a piece of wood for, you know, next Christmas. So it was perfect. I mean, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a, just one of those pieces of wood. You got a dollar tree or a tray or something and stencil a little nativity on it. Now I could also do the Santa and the uh, presents and stuff. I could do different ones. But this, I think, was only like $2 for this stencil. So I was super happy to get that. And then, oh, I'm going to have to show you. I got an idea from somebody. Uh, I don't have it with me right now, but I bought this. Uh, this is just a placemat, but it's, it's basically a piece of wood or little slats of wood sewn together, right? Joined together with thread around. So um, see how it curls? And you can bend it and stuff. I saw somebody. Uh, well, I got a box in a giveaway um, on whatnot. I'm telling you, I love that app. Um, some you, sometimes you can go and just enter the giveaways, and you know, when you win a giveaway, you don't have to pay for shipping or anything. So I won this little box. I found it. I won this box in a giveaway, and it had. Um, that's not what it was in it. Uh, I've put stuff in here since, but. It had little little jewelry that the seller had made in there. And I was looking at it. I'm like, this was made with like one of those placemats. You know, this one was a lot smaller, obviously, just the smaller pieces of stick. And so I said, I'm going to try to make this. So I think it's just a couple of pieces of wood on the side, which it could be like popsicle, not popsicle sticks, but um, those paint stir sticks is what I'm thinking maybe two glued together um, and then just wrap this around it and put a little um, a little bead a little elastic and look what a cute little box this is and it's nice and sturdy 
So that is what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this. Basically the same thing. I just need the sides and then I can just cut this, you know, to size. I can make it longer or, you know, shorter, but I, I don't know that I would want to make it shorter than that. But, you know, I can make two longer ones or three, you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, for 99 cents or one dollar, I forgot, it's the same thing. I got this and then I also got another one, but it's not popping up over here right now um, that I bought afterwards. And yeah, same idea though. I would have loved to have found a neutral one like this where it's just all little single pieces. But I, you know, this is what I found and I could still use it. Not crazy about the orange color, but I can always paint it. So, um, but I just love the idea. I want to try it. So we'll see if it ever happens. Wow, that was a lot of good stuff, wasn't it? I hope you'll let me know in the comments what was your favorite item. And I know it was a little bit of a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And please do check out Sherry's channel. And if you're not subscribed already to her, please do so. She is the hostess of this collaboration. And um, if you'd like to see another video from me, maybe you could try this one right here. And I hope to see you again. Have a blessed day.